What's going on, everybody? This is Lorne with TMF Apparel USA. I'm going to do something now that I see uh, come up kind of often about print head maintenance on the Epson line. This is an Epson 3880 that you see here in the video inside of my AirRen DTG printer. And I'm just going to show you how to access the print head on this printer. I do often see people asking questions about cleaning them, wet capping them, flushing them, how to get to them, how to possibly replace it. So I'm going to throw this video together and hopefully this helps you out. Now, first thing you'll notice is I have removed a little shroud that is above the um, print head assembly here, which is perfectly fine. doesn't hurt anything. I run mine without it. It's really just a dust shield. Once that's out of the way, you'll have a screw right here for this little ground wire. Remove that, get it out of the way. Next, we can unplug our circuits from the circuit board right here. Just pull those off. Next thing we're gonna do, you're gonna have a screw right here on the left side. Little Phillips head will get that out. You'll have another one on the right side right here. Little Phillips head will get that one out. Once those are both out, we can then pick up and remove our damper station from the printer, right? This guy we can just place to the side. It's no longer needed for what we're doing. Now we have access to the top of our print head. Um, generally, there's a little uh, tab right here that that screw goes into. I've already removed it. I don't need it. Next thing we're gonna do is come over here and grab, I'm gonna zoom in and grab a screw that holds this main plate on. The main plate, we're gonna unscrew that. We're going to come over to the side here. Let me see if I can get a better look at that right here. Undo this one. There is a small spring on the side of this print head as well. And we're going to undo that. I like to use a small pair of pliers that I normally have right in front of me. But at the moment, they are not there. So we just unclip this little spring, don't lose it. Then you can slide out this metal top piece. It does come out like so. From here, our print head is removable. Three screws to remove the print head. One in the back, I've already got it out. I don't usually put it back in because it's kind of a pain to get to. And I'd usually take out these two, it will suffice. Von 2. Make sure your printer is off, by the way. I should start emphasize that in the beginning of the video. Um, and then your print head can come out like so. And you can unplug both ribbon cables. You can label them top and bottom if you'd like. Make sure that they uh, you are very delicate with them. And that's removing your print head out of the Epson 3880, which from what I can tell is pretty much the same as the P. Uh, 600 and the P800 and then make sure your wet cap station stays intact. I'm going to move it out of the way at the moment. Just slide it over so you can see that's what's underneath it. And when it's wet capped, it presses up against it. I oftentimes remove uh, move this out of the way and I've done printer flushes as well um, on these print heads by just moving it over on my DTG unit. But if you're running a DTF printer, you're not going to have the ability to do that. Um, you're going to have obviously no space to work with that. So I hope you found this helpful. I'm going to go ahead and put it back in so you can watch the install. It just kind of slides back into the carriage assembly like so. Sits in there nice and pretty. Put our screws back in it. I usually have a screwdriver over here. I'm going to go grab it. That is magnetic. That makes life a little easier. Alrighty. Screw that sucker up in there. Like so. Next, we need to install this little plate. Like so. Two more screws. Hold that little plate in. Magnetic screwdriver, definitely for the win on that deal because these little guys can run away on you. So they are quite helpful to have. 
screw that in, reattach our spring. Like I said, I like to use a little pair of pliers, but you could use a spring puller. I've got a little pick here for vinyl, just to pull that over and hook it on the side. It should stay attached to the printer already, like so. Take our damper kit, <coughs> excuse me, go ahead and slide it in. Now, sometimes it's tricky. It goes in this way. You really can't put it in wrong. It can kind of only go in one direction. Just make sure your cables are in the right spot. And it will sit right on top of your print head, like so. Plug back in your connections. Right there. You will hook this one back up as well. You grab a screw for that guy. Boom. Right. Now our print head is loose because I did undock it using the manual wheel right there. I'm going to pour in a little bit of solution. I honestly dock this one mostly with Windex in it. So I'm going to fill it up like so. And what I can do is power back on the printer and the printer will automatically dock the head right into the capping station and it will be wet capped. You can do it manually as well, but since I just turned it off for the video, I'm going to turn it back on so that it's wet capped for me tomorrow. If it does a cycle, I might have to go back and run that again but it is ready to go so that is how you remove the damper station incline kit there access to the print head to clean flush it out or remove it sometimes i do remove them i think it is healthy to remove them and soak them um just a, a standard process for cleaning it maintenance wise maybe once a week or depending on how often you print they can get gummed up down there pretty well this is the startup sequence that's going through right now. It's kind of priming the ink lines. And we are on and ready to party. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I make all kinds of content revolving around DTG, stocks. I make funny videos, podcast videos, all kinds of stuff. But if you're in the apparel line and you want to learn more about these printers, drop a comment below. Let me know what you need to know and I'll do my best to answer those questions and provide you a nice visual to help you along the way. Till next time.